Thanks for joining us, everyone. With the COVID vaccine almost ready, can businesses make their employees get it? The Grand Rapids Area Chamber of Commerce held a virtual town hall on that today. So we'll start this hour with our Michael Martin, who joins us live with that answer, Michael. Yeah, Doug, good evening. The simple answer today at this point in time is yes, employers can require that their employees are vaccinated with certain accommodations for those with exemptions. And now, of course, this all only becomes irrelevant in a few months when there is enough of the vaccines to go around. I guarantee you there will be far, far fewer people harmed by this vaccine than would be killed or permanently damaged by letting the virus go unchecked. Health officials in Kent County joining local business leaders during a virtual town hall Tuesday, giving an update on the future of the COVID-19 vaccine. Even with vaccines, uh, the light at the tunnel uh, is pretty far away for many. Uh, the next the next months are going to be going to be difficult. Cases, uh, deaths, positivity rates have plateaued recently, but at a high level. And while some people might be leery of getting vaccinated, legal experts who spoke at the town hall say employers will be able to require their workers to get one. And they should start working on those plans now. When you're going to be making the decision about whether or not to mandate the vaccine for your workforce, you're probably going to have much, much more information than you have today. So be willing to be nimble with your plan, including planning to accommodate for exemptions. So whether it's the governor or the city or businesses, there's still going to have to be carve outs for for certain demographics that um, can't take can't take the vaccine or, or don't want to take the vaccine. And the, the most obvious ones are going to be one if there's any uh, health issues or even a religious accommodation, but just not trusting the vaccine isn't enough, according to the experts. It is, however, more than medical beliefs or political philosophies, right? So if you have an employee just saying, I don't believe in in um, I, I believe vaccines cause autism or cause harm or um, I think um, I for political reasons, I shouldn't take this vaccine. That would not be enough. And while leaders recommend businesses get a jump start on their plans and policies, they should also be prepared for changes. So for a local business, if they're trying to evaluate whether to throw a mandate out, the first thing they're going to be up against is no one can even get the vaccine yet. If we're just, you know, if, if we're just curious in the meantime, yeah, I think most private businesses will be al allowed to mandate uh, vaccine for the employees so long as they honor whatever exceptions or carve outs come through the mandate. And now for employers, for the information on when it, the vaccine will actually be available for your employees and where they should go, you're going to want to reach out to your local health department. They're going to be the contact to make that all happen. We'll have more information on our website, but for now, live in Grand Rapids, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.